A quick update on dollar pairs and euro pounds. Uh, following where I left off yesterday on New Zealand US dollar, I am looking at this bearishly. As I explained yesterday in detail, please see that video if you want to see a comparison here with another um, sequence that appeared a few years ago in cable. Looking at today's down move, I'm going to look at this as completed now. The sequence in here looks like five waves, so I'm going to count this as a motive wave and a three wave correction to sell further into it. It retraced to the area I had in mind about 70-20, which is the 8 EMA on the weekly chart approximately in this region, and I am expecting it to sell off further ultimately in the near term for a move below 6900. Um, so to go back to the four hour for a moment, I'm looking at this as actually done here like this. So the sequence is like that for leading diagonal for one, wave two, and we are in one of three, short correction to about 69.90 perhaps tomorrow or tonight, and then a hard move down to follow. That's the preferred sequence. No change unless there's a breakout of some sort. This is a bearish pattern as I view it because the entire correction was here and that is enough. I'm not going to look for a higher move if the preceding move was only corrective and if there's scope for something lower to follow. Okay, Aussie US dollar, this is still within I'm still looking at this as D for the triangle, and it is choppy on a lower time frame, but it's been working out well as a sell, and I'm going to continue to look bearish on it. Considering that it's part of a triangle, I am looking for a series of threes anyway. So this is well in line with what I've been um, looking for until now. So that continues lower. Now to go over to cable, My opinion of this has not changed ultimately. I was looking f looking to find an X wave here for a move up. Now that can still happen, though I'm not confident about it. What I want to stress is that this move here is only three waves. Now you may try to force that as five. If it works for you, that's fine. But for me, I can only trade what I see. And without question, that's only three for me. So I'm going to view this in three possible ways right now. If we find an X wave low and move up, that's still a possibility. I can also see a situation where we have a slightly larger three and one more high for E of the triangle, or maybe some other development, but that's a secondary option. Or alternately, we may have a another leading diagonal here. So if this continues to fall and we have a corrective move up as well, I can look at this as a possible leading diagonal here, just as I showed on New Zealand US dollar. Correction and down. So that's how I would look at it at the moment, one of those three ways. I'm not going to look at this as simply plummeting down. It, it may, but that's not how I view it now because the first sequence is only three. And Euro, US dollar, we've had a five wave sequence down. So any three wave corrective bounce will be a sell. Um, looking for a large move down still. This counts simply as one, two, one, two, three, four, five, four, five for first wave down. And uh, on the weekly, we've only, it's been a simple three wave, three wave move up on the daily rather, and uh, I'm looking at a situation here where we may, uh, the view on the DX is that I'm looking for one more high. Now it, it may be a strong move, it may be a weak move, who knows, but at the moment I'm looking only for one more high above 103 and a half. So my view on cable also is for one more move down out of the triangle. So a move below 119, who knows how deep. Looking at the long-term chart, possibly way down to 110, but I don't know. Um, I mentioned this because on Euro dollar, it's possible to view this as a leading diagonal for wave one of wave five down, and then 
this three wave move is wave two and then we have a large and deep third wave move coming that's possible but considering i'm viewing the dx in wave four and uh, cable in wave four with one more to come in each i would like to view this also as possibly having only one more low so there may be a setup in here where if this does not Severe, uh, it's bearish, so I'm going to take it bearishly, but there may be a situation that materializes in here where you may, may an ending diagonal may ultimately appear. Coming out of a triangle, following with an ending diagonal, it does happen. We saw it just last week on Euro New Zealand here, which has been a great pair since February. Out of a try into an ED. So something like that may appear on the weekly in euro dollar okay so that's all i'll update tomorrow for their developments bye bye